Welcome to this week's Inside Track. I'm Illinois State Representative Brad Halbrook. Today I want to talk to you about the Illinois budget and why the recent projection of $23 billion in deficits over the next five years should concern us all. For years, Governor J.B. Pritzker has reassured us that Illinois' finances are under control. He's proudly stated that we've balanced our budgets, paid down our unpaid bills, and even created a rainy day fund. Sounds like Illinois should be on solid financial ground, right? So why, then, are we facing multi-billion dollar deficits just like we were before COVID? To understand this, let's look at the numbers and projections provided by the governor's own Office of Management and Budget. Why Illinois did receive a massive financial boost from federal COVID relief, Pritzker plans future spending are set to outpace those temporary gains. He wants to continue the pandemic, pandemic error spending at levels that are just simply unsustainable. If he gets his way, Illinois' budgets will have ballooned by $23 billion by 2030, an almost 60% increase in just over a decade. This spending has grown rapidly, with huge sums going to programs like human services. Since Pritzker took office in 2019, human services spending alone has surged by $5 billion, and now he plans to add another $2.6 billion to that budget by 2030. Altogether, this means spending on human services will have more than doubled in about a decade, growing from $6.2 billion in 2019 to $14.1 billion in 2030, a massive 128% increase. So where is all of this money going? And why, with all this extra spending, are we back to running multi-billion dollar deficits? One reason is Illinois relied heavily on the federal COVID money, Nearly $195 billion went into our state's public and private sectors. Combined with increased tax revenue from the inflationary economic boom, this money allowed for significant budget expansions. Spending in education, human services, pensions, and general government services all surged. Overall, Illinois' budget has grown by 33% between 2019 and 2025, compared to just 13% increase over the previous six years. Yet, even with all this spending, it's not enough. Pritzker's administration is planning on even more increases. Another $2.3 billion for education, $2.6 billion for human services, and $2.3 billion for health care, all by 2030. That adds up to another $9.6 billion in spending. But here's the issue. These increases directly lead to Illinois' budget deficits. By 2026, the state will face a $3.2 billion deficit, increasing to $4.3 billion in 2027 and reaching over $5 billion in the years to follow. How will Illinois likely cover these costs? With tax hikes. And they're going to already lay the groundwork for a progressive tax. Recently, Illinois voters passed a non-binding referendum on a millionaire's tax by a wide margin of 60 to 40. The question was sweetened with a promise to relieve Illinois sky-high property taxes. But don't be fooled. With $5 billion in deficits looming, expect Springfield to reintroduce a progressive tax referendum for the 2026 ballot, but without the same property tax relief. The bottom line is this. Illinois' budget isn't sustainable under the current spending trajectory. State leaders need to address these structural issues now or Illinoisans should prepare for higher taxes ahead. In closing, I want to thank Ted Dabrowski and John Klinger at WirePoints.com for collecting all this data. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed and involved. I hope this information is helpful, and I want to hear from you. I want your feedback. Please leave your comments and suggestions on this topic and other topics for future discussions. Your feedback is vital. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe to my channels, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Thank you.